Welcome to Stitch. It's not a bad idea to occasionally spend a little time thinking about the things you take for granted. Plain, everyday things. Evan Davis. Cast your mind back a while. Not long, but say seven months. I was cursing the traffic on the M27, complaining that I couldn't get my preferred slot at my favourite restaurant, and getting annoyed that Tesco had substituted sirloin steak for ribeye. Soon after that, we went into global lockdown. And it's been over these past few months I realised how beautiful life is. Little did I know that I have been taking things for granted and complaining about the most trivial problems. Currently, there's a lot of focus on returning our lives to normal. And whilst we try and work out what normal is, I've been reflecting on the things that I have missed since lockdown. And sure, we all have our own lists, but as we long for and work towards the return of many of these things, I've been wondering, is there anything from Covid that I need to reflect on and see the good in, the power of stillness? As our lives are put on pause, we were given the opportunity to unapologetically slow down. Probably the most difficult part of this journey for most people has been being separated from friends and family. Connection is something that's so critical for our emotional and mental well-being, yet it's something we often take for granted. And essential workers are heroes. If this pandemic is teaching us one thing, it's not to take anyone or anything for granted. As we slowly begin to emerge from this, I know we're all wondering whether we will really change our ways. Will we learn lessons or go back to the way we were before? This is yet to be seen. However, as individuals, we can make our own choices. And it's our own individual choice that will make all the difference. Let us learn from this situation and do what we can to bring more stillness into our lives and to never take people or our health and safety for granted again. John Lennon once sang, Life is what happens when you're busy making plans. And I'll leave you with that. Till next time.